we're looking at the best mid-size car from 2024. I like this list because most lists they make for cars or any vehicles that Toyota sells or Lexus sells, they just put the Toyota or Lexus at the top and they don't do any research. They just uh, kind of paste it in and uh, expect everybody will take it for what it's worth. Uh, on IC Cars, they have their best mid-size cars from 2024. And they actually list the Honda Accord as number one. Um, they've come up with a scoring system and they have it at uh, 9.3 out of 10. It's not a very wide uh, scoring system. And for the most part, they're not very transparent on the exact details of where they're or of the numbers. Um, the only one they kind of spell out is the uh, safety that they're uh, getting that. Um, and, and there is some interesting information on the safety between the Accord and the Camry. <laughs> and the ad keeps changing. Um, between the Accord and the Camry on the IIHS website. So in any case, the uh, Honda Accord is number one with a 9.3 score. And they've got the Camry at an 8.8. .8. So it's kind of a significant difference. Uh, ironic part is they actually have the uh, difference in reliability. So they've got the Accord as a more reliable vehicle. For most things I see, um, just tout the uh, Toyota no matter what the situation. Um, this list does continue. Mazda, I, I've been seeing a lot of things that put Mazda as number three, but most things I see uh, put the Toyota product ahead of the Honda product in. But Mazda's been getting a pretty solid number three in most of the rankings I've been seeing. Um, this is a little bit of an odd one to have the Ford Fusion up that high. Especially since this is a 2024 list. No, I'm kind of. Um, Nissan Altima. Nissan's doing a lot of advertising. Uh, Hyundai Sonata. There's just not many competitors, I guess, in this market. Uh, I mean, you get into the European luxury maybe a little more. But it looks like most of that wasn't even ranked. Um, you see where, it, it, yeah, Passat wasn't even made. So I don't know why they're getting that in 2024. I thought they discontinued the Passat also. Um, Subaru Legacy. Uh, that one is ending this year. I guess they're taking a used vehicle. They're, they're considering used vehicles also. Kia Stinger. Chevy Malibu. Kia K5, which I don't think I've ever even seen one of those. Of course, they have coming soon for the uh, reliability and the score. And I don't think I've ever seen one of those either, the uh, Volkswagen. So maybe, maybe a little bit incomplete, but I was very entertained that they've got a Honda Accord above the uh, Toyota Camry. Uh, but I wanted to look at the um, IIHS, so high, uh, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. So this is the ranking for the Camry, and then this is the ranking for the Accord. So the Accord, they did give a safety pick plus, uh, and the uh, Camry just has a regular safety pick. But there, it doesn't take much to fall out of favor on the IIHS. So Crestworthy, that's the only uh, downgrade they have up here is the uh, modern overlap and the headlights have been kind of hit or miss on a lot of them um, they've been being more particular with the uh, headlights uh, passenger straight and dummy kinetics I've seen a lot of cars get downgraded for that um, basically the the dummy is telling them things so they, they've got a bunch of sensors in the dummies and the dummies can say that they would have been injured. So it's not necessarily even anything you can see by watching the video. Uh, most, most of the crash tests now, the uh, passenger space is maintained well. That's pretty normal. Um, I do see a lot of them where the uh, head goes between the airbags. Um, that's kind of a danger, but that's kind of the benefit of having the side curtain airbag that's kind of starting to fill that crap gap. But when they're doing these uh, offset frontal crashes, it is, it, it throws the dummy sideways towards that uh, A-pillar. 
so they'd hit the A pillar with their head possibly. Um, yeah, overall evaluation marginal on this. And this was an actual 2023 they crashed. Uh, the rear passenger chest. Um, and let's show. So this is one of the things they really look at is the uh, how the seat belt lays. Does it go down into their stomach or does it lay right? So apparently it's the angle at which the anchors are in that kind of determines. But you want that uh, lap belt to stay down where it's at. But then I've seen a few other cars that get a bad rating because of the se dummy sensors. So the kinetics. Um, I believe the Volkswagen Jetta got pretty good downgrade in its uh, downgrade in its safety because of that. The Honda Accord. I mean, if you just glance at these systems, at these two tests without the explanations, you wouldn't really see much of a difference. Um, this one's got the basically the sensors in the left foot are saying that that could have been injured. They do note here that the uh, side airbag is touched with the head, so a little bit of the same situation. Uh, mentioning that foot. But then here they do show how the uh, lap belt stayed in place and then the dummy kinetics were a little bit better. So just small differences can make a big difference in your ratings. And that's what's bringing the uh, Honda Accord above the Toyota Camry and the IC cars ranking for midsize cars. Not that we're selling many midsize cars, but uh, anything you can do to get your ranking a little higher should help. All right, thank you.